For ages, we human beings have always had this belief that we are superior to everything else around us. We think we are so special and unique just because we can talk, make tools and use our brains. Sure, animals still can't write romance books or make funny memes like we do. E. But scientists have been digging deep into animal behavior and they've uncovered some seriously human-like stuff. How about some animals organizing funerals and others getting drunk after a girl rejects them? So if you're interested in seeing that there is no such a big difference between animals and people, then this video is for you. We all know that animals can feel grief, but the fact that they actually hold funeral-like ceremonies is just mind-blowing. It turns out that magpies and elephants, despite being extremely different, have funerals. Let's start with magpies. When one of these intelligent birds dies, the rest of the flock gazes and hops around the deceased bird, making all sorts of loud noises, almost as if they are paying their respects to their fallen brother. This behavior has also been observed in crows and ravens. Now let's talk about elephants. These gentle giants have strong emotional bonds with their herds. When an elephant dies, the other elephants gather around the deceased family member and run their trunks over the fallen one's body. Elephants are also known to hold their foot about the deceased, sway together over a body and scatter the bones of family members. Even other herds have been spotted standing over the remains of an unrelated elephant. It only goes to show that animals deal with loss and grief in their own unique ways. In the animal kingdom, murder is not uncommon because survival is at stake. But imagine a scenario where murder is planned, involving the hiring of a hitman and payment for the act with one's own body. Surprisingly, female orangutans have been observed engaging in such behavior. According to Scientific American, in 2016, a female orangutan was murdered by a younger female orangutan and her male accomplice. What made this event truly unusual was not just the fact that female orangutans seldom display aggression, but also the cunning strategy employed by the younger female. It seems she used the male orangutan as a hired hitman to carry out the attack. These two females were definitely rivals, and the younger one managed to convince her male partner to attack the older female by withholding intimacy as leverage. These charismatic, rabbit-sized rodents that can stand on their back legs are actually members of the squirrel family. We've all seen squirrels do some pretty foolish things, but these cute creatures are actually super clever because they can talk. No, they don't speak English or French yet, but they have a complex language of their own, complete with nouns and adjectives. Their vocabulary is more advanced than any other animal language that's been decoded. To a human ear, prairie dog squeaky calls sound simple and repetitive. But actually, those calls can convey incredibly descriptive details. Prairie dogs can alert one another, for example, that there is not just a human approaching their burrows, but a tall, fast-moving human wearing the color green. What's unfortunate is that a prairie dog can help out a squirrel by yelling. Ah! Squirrels, evidently, are still too dumb to speak prairie dog. Have you ever been to a bar and noticed people nursing a drink trying to drown the sorrows after a romantic letdown? It's a scene we are all familiar with. We might think it's a uniquely human way of dealing with rejection, but even fruit flies can do that. According to National Geographic, when male fruit flies experience rejection from potential mates, they have their own version of heat in the bottle. Oh my god! Instead of reaching for a bottle of scotch, they turn to food sources that contain alcohol. And you might be surprised to know that alcohol can be found in just about every rotten, fermenting piece of fruit left in your kitchen, explaining why fruit flies always seem to gravitate toward that part of your house. So, the next time you spot a despondent, lonely fruit fly indulging in some fermented fruit, maybe it's best not to chase the poor guy away. We believe that humans were the only clever beings capable of using tools. But surprise, turns out other animals like primates, fish and even insects are pretty handy with tools too. It's a real humbling moment when you realize that you don't need a big brain or hands to figure out how to use objects to your advantage. 
and just when we thought we had seen it all, crows come along to flex even more. These remarkable birds not only know how to use tools, but they can also modify them to fit their needs. According to The Guardian, crows have been observed bending wire into hooks to reach food that is out of their immediate reach. They are smart enough to strip leaves or bark of sticks to get at those insects hiding in tree cracks or holes. So, the next time you spot the crow, take a closer look at it. Maybe it's making some new devices to hack your smartphone. What could be nicer than taking a hot bath after a long, stressful day? Well, it seems that humans aren't the only ones who appreciate this relaxing ritual. According to scientists from Japan, Japanese monkeys, also known as snow monkeys, have discovered the joys of soaking in natural hot springs. The reasons behind their choice to bathe are quite simple. First, it's cold out there. Second, their butts are naturally naked, so the warm water provides some much-needed comfort. But there is more to it than just physical warmth. Taking a regular hot bath reduces their stress levels by approximately 20%. As we learn more about the fascinating world of animals, it becomes clear that they are not so different from us. Animals, too, exhibit a range of emotions, possess unique ways of communicating, and showcase remarkable intelligence. So let's have more respect for our smaller and sometimes larger friends.